We at here at Park City are expanding a lot of things that we can do for diagnostic uh, screening and diagnostic uh, findings. We have digital mammography, which is really important for uh, a younger age group with den dense breasts. We have uh, ultrasound capabilities. We also have minimally invasive uh, biopsies um, that we can do right now with ultrasound, but um, after the new year we'll be adding on a stereotactic machine. So then we'll be able to biopsy not only um, lesions or masses found under ultrasound, but also calcifications or masses that are seen on a mammogram. Um, and this is really important because it keeps a woman out of the operating room since we know that most things that we biopsy end up being benign. Something else on the docket or roster to get will be in a, a breast coils for our MRI machine, which adds another tool for diagnostic uh, findings in the breast. There's so much happening with uh, targeted chemotherapies and we have um, you know, ability to test breast cancers to see how they're going to react. You know, on a monthly, daily basis, new things are happening that really help us treat the cancer better and, and be smarter about it. Something in the works will be to start screening women in our mammography unit to see who has some risk factors that may need to have some more counseling and do we do the, the, the BRCA analysis is as easy as swabbing the inside of your cheek and they send that off to uh, check your DNA to see if you're one of the um, genetic carriers. We're proud that we have the mammo pad that makes a mammogram really a lot more comfortable and, and those women that have these horrific memories of, oh, I'll never get a mammogram again, they're too painful, these really have alleviated a lot of the discomfort. There's a look good, feel better campaign uh, that allows uh, women that are going through cancer treatment and losing their hair, their eyebrows, um, they have a group that will come in and beauticians that come in to help show you how to redo your eyebrows, may, do your makeup. But it's a really nice uh, volunteer organization that is putting this together and we're offering at least a site for the workshops to happen. And you can look on lookgoodfeelbetter.org to get more information. It's really nice to see all these cancer survivors coming together and how they bond and they make something that is kind of very tragic, very sad, into something very positive. Most women have no family history of breast cancer. So I really kind of, my heart kind of sinks to my stomach when I hear, well, I don't need to get a mammogram. I have no family history. It's quite the opposite. You absolutely need to be getting your mammograms yearly.